Let's talk a minute about food allergies. Uh, it's a very common complaint when people come in. Uh, I think my child is allergic to you name it. But quite frequently, people are just sort of doing this from random you know, thought process. As doctors, we like evidence. And as parents, you should want that evidence too. Immunocap, one of the things we can do, we can look to, for, for very specific types of foods, but there's just a food allergy panel in kids that looks for milk, wheat, soy, fish, eggs, and peanuts. Those six things right there account for 90% of all food allergies in kids. So we can look for the most common triggers, but if there's something else a parent suspects, sometimes I can get them to throw that in too. Let's say a parent says, I know every time they eat strawberries, I swear they break out in a rash. So, uh, so we can add strawberries to that test, right? It all comes back negative. Well, now this child can actually start to eat uh, normal food and these parents uh, can stop living a life like uh, that is exceedingly difficult. I have seen parents literally, it, it almost becomes like torture to the children. They are, they are eating nothing but gruel when they're, they're two or three years old because parents are avoiding everything that they think their child's allergic to, but they have no real evidence of it. It's just their gut feeling. So this is a very accurate test, and if it's negative or positive, we can go over those results with you about what should you do, when should you avoid, but it may make a, a, an entire difference on the way you live your life, one way or the other.